All right, folks. Well, I'm going to Walmart to pick up the wife to get last minute stuff. So we're pulling up at Walmart. Uh, let's see if we can go find the wife. We always seem to forget last minute things. I was at the shop getting some last minute things and she called me and she said, hey, what about dishwashing water? I had totally forgot. Luckily at the shop, I actually had a seven gallon blue toad for dishwashing water. So I cleaned it up, got it ready, and she is probably calling me right now. I bet that's her. Hey babe. I am going over in front of the garden center so you can park and put the ice in the ditch. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Okay. I'm going over here where you can park. Okay. Alright, so as you folks could hear, there she is. So she's going to a spot where I can put the ice in the Yeti. We gotta have ice cold beer. Gotta have ice cold beer for my dear. Alrighty. Alright folks. Well, this is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Just kidding. It is a test. It's a test to see if my GoPro will work correctly the way it should. That is a lot of last minute items. It's crazy. Why did you get so much stuff? Because I needed it. Oh my goodness. Yay. All right, folks. Next time we see you, we'll be in the woods. Just driving down the road and these are the cool things especially after it rains and it's absolutely beautiful There's a couple little creeks flowing real nice here uh, but these are the things that you don't find sitting on the couch so you get out you explore and these are the type of things you see look at this i don't know if you can see back in there if you can see back in there it's just absolutely beautiful we had a pretty good rain here recently and you can really see it. Looks good. All right, we're gonna continue to our campsite. Hey folks, this is Chris with Fast Rack Overland. So we showed up here kind of late last night. It was cold, so I had to get fire going, made food. By the time we got all that over with, next thing we know it was bedtime. I really didn't have time to film anything because it was kind of dark anyway. Um, but anyway, we just want to kind of show you around. We're in Ozark National Forest. We're up here by Shores Lake. Beautiful spots, one of our favorite spots. We come here often. But check out this view, folks. Absolutely beautiful. And if you can see, that right there, that is Shores Lake. And like I said, this is one of our favorite spots. It's not even that deep in the woods. It's not that far away from the house but it's just beautiful, it's easy to get to. We actually drove around looking for all these sites and we wound up here. And that's usually the way it goes. But anyway, we appreciate you guys watching and just stay tuned. Good morning, sweetheart. You want to take a I forgot my brush. Hey, guess what? What? You married a Boy Scout. Oh, fabulous. It may have some beard hair in it. Okay. There you go. Thanks.
Well, all right, folks, we're up a little bit more now. We've actually got the fire made, so there's that. And now we're making coffee because it is much needed this morning. We need some warmth. Uh, Let's show you around the, the camp here. Yeah, not much of a setup here, but it gets it done. The reason we brought the canopy, in case you're wondering, is there was supposed to be a chance of rain and it was raining on the way out here yesterday. So just in case, we'll have a place to sit. It's always nice to have a place to go if it's raining. So that's, that's the importance of the canopy. Anyway, we're gonna get some coffee uh, in us and uh, I gotta go find some more trees to cut down. We need some more firewood. Uh, I cut down two dead trees yesterday. All they were were just whoop, stumps, big tall stumps. Already had some char on them from a controlled burn, so they burned really good last night. Gotta go see if I can find some more of those to keep this fire going. But anyway, we appreciate you. That's what I'm talking about, folks. That is the wife carrying a butt ton of cedar firewood. Right there. She is doing it. I just poked her in the back with my load. <laughs> oh my Wait a minute, that didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a load of wood, see? <laughs> Oh, folks, it's beautiful. It's snowing. It's awesome. Ozark National Forest always delivers. Oh, I hope all that. Snowing in my face. <laughs> A little bit. I'm strong like bull. Yeah. All right. So we got a little bit of firewood now. This will probably last us a minute. And let me tell you folks, we've had all kinds of crazy weather today. So it's been cold most of the day. It sleeted on us, it snowed on us, it rained on us a little bit. And then here at the very end of the evening, it just turns beautiful. The sunset is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I used all of my drone batteries, so I have no batteries left to, to film it on the drone. But uh, I'll walk you over and let you take a look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Check this out. And I know this GoPro is not going to do any justice that you can't see any of this on this little bitty GoPro. But I'm going to try. Here we go.
I don't think it's gonna, I don't think the GoPro did any justice to it. Definitely need the drone in order to make it really dramatic where you can really see it. But anyway, here at camp, we're uh, cooking some uh, chili cheese potatoes. Uh, we were gonna actually have steak and potatoes, but we had some leftover chili from last night, which we didn't film because we got here late. But it just sounds too good to have chili cheesy potatoes this evening. It's cold, uh, just sounds delicious. So that's what we're having. And I know it's weird to give up steak for that, but that's what we're doing. What are you cooking? Fried potatoes. probably that was probably all like distorted because I screamed but I was like oh man that's gonna be yummy yeah. so in the last few shots if you actually heard a weird noise it was probably the truck running uh, we're charging up all kinds of batteries uh, we actually use a Dewalt Sawzall to cut all of our wood uh, yeah I'll take you over here and let you check it out That right there is what we use to cut all of our wood up. We actually find dead trees, we cut them down, and we cut them up with a sawzall, and we get good fires like that. But you have to charge your batteries constantly. I have drone batteries, GoPro batteries, Dewalt batteries, lights that we use at night batteries, headlamps, constantly charging stuff. I have a dual battery set up, but I don't have it hooked up yet. I got a solar panel that's not hooked up yet. Most weekends we're out doing stuff, we're out filming. Just haven't had time to hook everything up, so hopefully I can get to that soon. Just gonna have to take a break and get some done, get some work done on the truck. So definitely need to take a break, get some work done on the truck. So Mary made this chili from scratch last night. I have no idea why she's laughing at me right now. Because <laughs> you said it looked like dog poop. No, I said it looked like a turd of jelly earlier. Uh, How are the taters? Good. All right. So what you're looking at here, this is Shores Lake, and this is the dam, and this is where it flows into what's called Hurricane Creek. Uh, so we've had a lot of rain, and my goodness, I have never seen the dam look like this. It is actually flowing really good. Uh, I don't even know if you can hear me, it's so loud right here.
Hi, this is Chris with Fast Track Overland. <laughs> and we're camping in the woods. Isn't she adorable, folks? She is so cute. I'm so lucky. Legs are on fire. My name's Chris. I forgot to video the potatoes in the pan. <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the video. You can count on it. That, that'll be in there. <laughs> By the way, folks, I love this lady right here. I love her so much. She is awesome. She puts up with me coming out here in the woods, freezing, all these things. And she's still right here by my side. I love her. <laughs> it's chilly, folks. I don't know how else to... It's chilly. Well, folks, it's been a rough one. It snowed on us, it rained on us, it was cold. I slept like a baby. I woke up every couple of hours whining. Sometimes they're fantastic, and sometimes they're just a camping trip. But anyway, still wouldn't trade it for anything. Get out, explore, do things and brush your teeth.